All right, we are back with another technique tutorial and today's topic is the ankle technique. So in this video, first we're gonna check out how the ankle technique actually works. That's the first point. And the second part of this video is you're gonna learn how to first start practicing that technique. But before we start out, let's see a short demonstration of the ankle technique. All right, now let's check out how this technique actually works. So, okay, we got our bass drum pedal right here, the foot plate, the heel plate, footboard. We got our bass drum beater right here. All right, so you can see that's a bass drum pedal. So, when you first start out, place your foot around the middle of the footboard. So these are your toes, ball of your foot, the heel, your ankle, knee joint and somewhere here the hip joint. I know the proportions are not okay right now from the bass drum pedal to the size of your leg, but that's fine for now, bear with me. So actually you want to place your foot on the footboard around the middle of the footboard and there's one thing you have to focus on and that's your heel and your ankle. So basically you want to raise and lower your heel all the time. What you don't want to do is you don't want to focus on pushing down the footboard with your toes, this kind of motion. You don't want to push down like that, <laughs> you want to focus on your heel. One thing that happens with drummers that focus on pushing down with their toes is that once they push down the footboard, beta hits the bass drum head. So when the beta hits the bass drum head, right after that what they do is that they actively use their shin muscle, their tibialis anterior, to lift their leg again and that's not what we want. The tibialis anterior is the, by far the weakest muscle group in your leg, especially in your lower legs, and you don't want to activate that muscle group. So don't focus on pushing down with your toes, focus on your ankle and your heel. So how the ankle technique works is following. So you only want to activate your calves and not your shin muscle. So when you place your foot on the footboard, Focus on a contraction, a quick contraction of your calf muscle. This way you're gonna raise your heel and you're gonna apply pressure to the footboard and the beater is gonna hit the bass drum head. Right after the beater hits the bass drum head, you want to relax your calf muscle again and lower your heel. <laughs> calf, 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 calf. <laughs> that can't be right. <laughs> I'm gonna call it calf. Those of you who know me, <laughs> Uh, by now know that I don't really care, so it's gonna be calf for me. <laughs> All right, so what you want, you just want to use your calf muscle and not your shin muscle. At the same time, you also want to learn how to relax your upper leg and the muscle groups in your upper leg as well. This technique only consists of a quick contraction and relaxation of your calf muscle and that's it. Don't focus on pushing down, focus on lifting your heel and swinging the beta back and forth. So now let's see some examples of me playing from 140 up to 210 BPM. Because basically I'm using that technique from 140 up to 210. For tempos faster than that, I'm applying a little bit of pressure from my upper leg as well, but we're gonna talk about that in another tutorial video. So now let's start at 140 BPM up to 210. At 140 BPM you can see that I got almost a 90 degree beta angle. As soon as I increase the tempo, the beta swing decreases from 90 degrees up to 80, 70 and so on. Alright, now let's talk about how you can first start developing that technique and working on that technique. 
best place to start and the easiest way to start is to first just place your foot on the floor not on the pedal. If you take away the pedal, you know, the footboard is moving up and down. This is influencing your technique and your motion. So first you can start out by practicing just on the floor. Place your foot on the floor. Again, these are your toes, ball of your foot right here. We got your ankle and up here somewhere, knee joint and hip joint. Place your foot on the floor and all you want to focus on is a quick contraction from your calf muscle. And this way you're gonna raise your heel. So you raise your heel and then you let it, drop, let it drop down to the floor again. That's all you want to do. And while you do that, that's important, focus on not activating your shin muscle and also focus on relaxing your upper leg. This sounds easy, but it's not that easy. You want to relax certain muscle groups in your upper leg, the hip flexor and your quads especially, and you want to relax your shin muscle and at the same time you want to quickly contract and relax your calf muscle again. So you got to practice that and it's really easy to start out practicing that stuff on the floor. Once you got that down on the floor and started the slow tempo 80, 90 and 100 BPM, eighth notes with each foot separately. Once you got that down I wanted to switch to the bass drum pedal. Don't practice on the floor forever and there's one reason for that. <laughs> there's one important reason why I tell you that. If you practice that stuff on the floor, every time you contract your calf muscle, you're going to raise your heel. As soon as you relax it again, you're going to drop your heel back down to the floor and you're going to get a sound. You're going to hear a sound, the sound of your heel dropping down to the floor. So at one point, if you keep on repeating that over and over again, then your brain is going to link that sound of your heel hitting the floor to the bass drum hit. So basically in your head, you're going to think and store this to your muscle memory that at this point in time when the heel drops to the floor, that that's the point in time where I create a sound like the bass drum hitter, beater hitting the bass drum head. But actually it's the total opposite with the anchor technique. With the anchor technique, every time you raise your heel, when you contract your calf muscle and your heel is on the way up, that's when the beater starts to travel towards the bass drum head and hits the bass drum head. And when you relax your calf muscle again, your heel drops back down towards the floor. That's the point in time where you don't create a sound and the beater is returning. But if you practice on the floor, that's exactly the point in time where you create a sound. So you don't want to practice on the floor forever. Just like take it as a practice tool to get the basic motion down, but after that transfer it right to your bass drum pedal. So to sum this up, number one, I'm using the anchor technique starting around 140 BPM up to 210 BPM. For tempos faster than that, I'm applying also pressure from my upper leg and we're going to talk about that one in another tutorial video. Number two, you want to start practicing that stuff on the floor because you need to learn how to contract and relax your calf muscle and at the same time relax your upper leg, the muscle groups in your upper leg and also your shin muscle. So start practicing on the floor. Once you got that down, transfer it right to the pedal and start at the medium tempo. And the third important point is when you start practicing that stuff on the pedal, Place your foot around the middle of the footboard, contract and relax your calf muscles, so move your heel up and down quickly. That's what you want to do. And you're going to find a certain tempo that feels most comfortable for you in the beginning. For some of my students it's around 150 or 160 BPM, for some it's 180. Last week I had a student at one of my Skype lessons and his starting tempo was 208. So everyone is kind of different. My personal starting tempo in the beginning was 165. So don't worry, just find out your starting tempo, use the tap function on your metronome to find out your starting tempo and this is the kind of tempo you want to practice and spend most time on in the beginning and then work your way up the BPM ladder and down the BPM ladder. Alright, that's it for today's tutorial video. If you want me to cover a certain topic in one of the next tutorial videos, then just comment below. If you want to learn more about the ankle technique and my foot technique, then just check out Bass Drum Mastery. You can find the link to that online course down in the description below. If you want me to give you feedback and if you are stuck at a certain point, then just join the Drum Technique Academy. Link is also below and we're gonna finish this short video with the progress of one of our students of the Academy who recently, last week, started Bass Drum Mastery. Hey, I'm Mattia Fusaro. I'm a proud member of Martin's Drum Technique Academy. I recently bought uh, Bass Drum Mastery 2. My entire life I always have had a struggle trying to use properly my ankles for mm, making the pedal do most of the work. 
uh, I always had a problem with my thin muscles, so they started to burn after really a, a couple of, of bars. Uh, thanks to the tension relaxation principle uh, included in Bezra Mastery, I understood I got it all wrong <laughs> all of these years. In one week, I was able to solve this problem and now my results so far are this. So surely I've got uh, much work in front of me because I want to get better and better every day. But in one week I call this a progress. My shin muscles are not burning anymore. I really got lots of energy. Um, I think uh, if you are a lazy person who, do who doesn't want to practice for five hours a day, that's crazy. I used to do that. <laughs> now I practice about uh, 20 to 45 minutes, one hour a day. And uh, I had more progress in the last week than in the last 12 years. So please guys, if you're a lazy drummer like me who doesn't want to spend all day drumming, uh, feel free to check out Best Drum Master because it's the one thing that you want to do, trust me. Bye from Italy. And that's it for today's video. Have a great day. Cheers from Vienna. Bye.